This is the card I'll be showing you how to make. It's using the Hydrangea Haven stamp set along with the Hydrangea dies. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you don't um, miss out on any fun upcoming tutorials. Um, so you can join me then. Um, but to get started, I am going to take a three and an eighth by four and an eighth inch sheet of shimmery white. Now the technique that I'm gonna be showing you today is called the smooch technique. And that is how I got this background here that the hydrangea is stamped on. It's super, super cool. Um, so one important thing is to use shimmery white and that way um, it's a little bit more absorbent and also it adds a little extra shimmer to your project too. So that is why I'm using shimmery white. Also, I found that it works very well, or works a lot, um, it works better if we use a foam mat. Um, and then I also grabbed an extra sheet of scrap paper so that hopefully it'll protect a workspace while we're spritzing um, water everywhere. So I used uh, Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape inks here. I'm gonna start with Highland Heather um, since that's the lighter color. And I have the size E acrylic block here. And I'm just going to ink it up like I would a stamp. So you're gonna pretend like there's a stamp on here but there's really not. And we're gonna have some fun with it. Um, so once I've completely inked up and put ink all over the base of that block, I'm going to take the Gorgeous Grape ink pad and just kind of add some splotches of darker purple for just accents, colors, and kind of interest. And then I am using one of my old Stampin' Mist bottles. I just put some water in there. That's all you need. And then just spritz all over. And then you can lift up this paper so you don't get your project wet. Take your um, cardstock here, your shimmery white, and you're going to stamp that right over top. And push real hard, get all the water and ink transferred. And then carefully, it will kind of release itself here. And if you get a little extra water, you can kind of just like stamp there and get it all smeared around for a really cool background. Now set this aside to dry, and then I just use a baby wipe or cloth or something, and then you can just clean off your block um, like that, and then you're ready to use it and stamp with it again. So set your block aside here, and then I took, once your, once your piece is all dry, you can also use the heat tool to help, help set it and dry. Um, you can take the hydrangea stamp here, and I'm going to take some Versamark and ink that up. And we'll stamp that down. And then I will be using some black embossing powder, and I will be heating it. and just helps give a little bit more raised, elegant look. So pour your embossing powder over there, and then you'll use your heat tool to heat set it. And then once you're done with that, you should end up with something that looks like this, and you'll see the embossed look looks pretty cool. So we'll set this aside here, and then you will repeat the same step that we just did with your clear block. And I repeated the step, I used old olive ink, and then I used my water mist and spritzed it and stamped it down on an extra scrap piece of shimmery white. And then I did, I repeated the same exact step. I inked up um, my hydrangea stamp and this time we're only gonna do the bottom half. So just the leaf, leaves down at the bottom here. And we will stamp that down on the green background we've created. And we'll put some black embossing powder on that. Like so. And you will also heat that with the heating tool 
And then when you complete that, you should end up with something like this. Now, a really cool thing is I'm gonna take the hydrangea die and we are gonna actually die cut this and then we'll just uh, take a pair of scissors and cut off right there so that we'll just have the stem part that we need for the card. So take your um, die cutting machine platform here. So you'll have the number one, number two, the plexiglass would be your number three layer, and then your cardstock and your dies, and you'll get that all lined up. And then you'll put your second plexiglass plate over top and run that through the big shot. And when you finish, you'll just trim off this top little edge there and you'll end up with something that looks like this. So once we have that, we can pull our hydrangea that we just finished here back into the picture, grab some Tombow, and you can actually go ahead and attach your stem. I just put some glue right on the stem part so that the leaves could kind of lift up and look like they're actually have a little bit of life to them. So that's what that'll look like so far. Next, what I did is I used the same smooch technique that I did for the background here, except I did it on some scrap paper here. And I used this long border die with all these little hydrangea flowers. And I used the little mini die cutting machine here. That's super fun and super awesome. Um, and went ahead and Ran, few, ran a few of these already through. There we go. All right, so we'll run that through. Like this. And then I have kind of already run through a few flowers. On my original card, I did about 12 of them. I think I have 14 here. Um, I went ahead and grabbed a few of the pearls and just added it to the center. This is something that's optional that you do not have to do, but I thought it added a nice little touch. So you can add some pearls to, whoops, to the center of your flowers, but you can see there all those. I flipped a few over, but that's okay. And then you will just glue them to your hydrangea flower and that will just give it extra dimension and look super super cool so I will just put a little dot of Tombow and then you'll just go and add all those little flowers to your hydrangea flower so there we have it I added all my hydrangea little flowers to the top there and they've got some nice cute pearls there. So next we will grab a three and a quarter by four and a quarter sheet of gorgeous grape and we are going to just put a little Tombow on the back here and attach that like so. And then I have some um, gorgeous grape sheer ribbon that kind of goes with the Hydrangea Haven uh, bundle here. And we're just going to tie that around the base of the card here just to add a little um, extra embellishment. And then we can just trim the excess off. And then I also took a small little piece of the Purple Posy, um, quarter inch little strip of Purple Posy, and I stamped in gorgeous grape the I Love You that comes along in the Hydrangea Haven stamp set. And then I put a little diagonal cut to it. So we can go ahead and put a little Tombow on that and attach that right here under our ribbon for our little greeting. And then next we can set this apart because this is mostly done here. And then we're going to take the purple posy base, the five and a half by eight and a half sheet of cardstock, 
and fold that in half. And then I'm gonna use the Subtles embossing folder here. And you will take your Big Shot platform and you will need the number one. Hold on, let me get all my pieces here together. So we will insert the cardstock into your embossing folder here. You'll place that down on the number one and then you'll have the number three or your plexiglass plate on top. And you'll run this through the die cutting machine. And then when you finish, you should end up with something that looks like this. You can kind of see there. So the last little step is take some dimensionals here and we'll place it on the back of your card here. And then you can take off the wax paper backs and place it onto the front of your card. So that is your complete finished card there. Super, super pretty. One um, minor change I made on another card, if you do not want to do the smooch technique and add all these little, little tiny pearls, um, I used some of the Hydrangea Hill DSP and just die cut a bunch of these little tiny flowers out of the DSP. Um, that also made a really cute um, addition that you can adapt if you don't want to add all the little pearls there. So um, you can choose which style you want to make or copy there. Um, I also wanted to show you a lot of people were asking how to do the smooch technique and stuff uh, back at Christmas time. I did this card. Um, these dies are no longer available, but I figured I'd bring back this technique and do it on something that's current. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.